Hi guys, welcome. I just made a video about the new Sardi flat arc and that's what you're looking at. It's flat, but it's still the arc folders from Horst. I just read a help, a cry of help. And um, what do, do we do? We make a video. <laughs> that's indeed what we do. So there's somebody online on the forum that says I want to downgrade and I want to go to Linux LTS. Which things can you do? Well, we are not, that's important for you to know, this is not the Linux LTS, what you can read here already. But, Super Shift Enter, Control H, bin, main, Linux LTS kernel. We have a script that installs Linux LTS kernel for you and installs the Linux LTS kernel for you. It's always gonna be the last version that's available in Arch Linux. What does that mean? Uh, well, the tick, if, if you want to make it smaller, it's not succeeding immediately. There is this Alt button next to the spacebar, the left Alt, click it. And now the mouse, right mouse click, Ooh, that's much easier, right? Just in the middle somewhere, let's just drag it, that's easier. Now, so, LTS, Control T. When I want to install it, you do it like anything else. Sudo, pacman, minus S, and then Linux, and then tap, tap. This is what you can install. You can install the Linux kernel, you can install the Linux hardened kernel, the Linux LTS kernel, and Linux Zen kernel. We're talking about the Linux LTS kernel. That's this one. Now it's always gonna be the last one the newest one, the latest version. If you want to get something older, you need to downgrade a particular Linux LTS kernel. And the way I do it, and maybe other ways as well, is do a sudo downgrade and then Linux LTS. You get this long list of all kernels available that have been built over the years, probably right, 4.19, it's gonna go way back. And deciding which one is good for you, I don't know, I really don't know. You can only guess, and um, if you don't like guessing, you could go maybe to kernel.org and figure out the versions they have, at what date a particular version came out, maybe, long term 5.48 maybe here browse i don't know nope not gonna be it bad link <laughs> change log patch tarball maybe so i'm just looking is there a way to figure out woof it's downloaded already is there a way to see if i can actually see when things were released at what point of a particular time was a kernel released and um, maybe we get it in the change log which is a nice text, but it's gonna be way too long. And just probably about that kernel, that release. So, git kernel, no. And last try, pup, maybe pup, yeah, why not? And then Linux software, probably Linux. Utils, Denimus, kernel, okay, kernel. 4.4, hey, we found something of dates. Well, change log accompanies something, right? So, 5.4, 4.19, we are at 14, 17. So 19 is around 75. So we're August 2019. So with this reference, you can actually go back a few, well, years in this case, one and a half, one year and a half, you can go back if you take this one, 68, which will be number 50 that you take. So that's some, way of getting to know okay i need to go back to that particular package now i wonder since i have not installed linux lts so i'm not downgrading anything i'm actually installing it now because i don't have linux lts and let's see what happens this is a what if i've never done and that's how we learn guys 
Skiff gave us some message up here, missing kernel headers. We'll see. If you want to follow along, you can, of course, if you know your system. Here he is. He's building this one. In the boot folder, he's making an LTS for you. An LTS has been created here already. And you want to ignore it? Yes, of course, you say. Ignore it. Otherwise, you'll update it again and it will be, again be the very last Linux LTS kernel, which you don't want. You want that version of a year and a half ago. All right. What did happen? And Pacman, always follow your system. It's simple once you know it. Where are you? Whole package. Where's my ignore package? Down here he is. So I've already Reflector is in there, Osh ISO is in there, now Linux LT is in there as well. Pacman won't touch it, won't update it. Thank you. Control X. Now what I don't think it has done, it has created these files, but I don't think it has updated grub which means manually you do an update grub and that's it now we other systems do not have update grub here you see the lines the new lines linux lts linux lts what it is is a long line i always forget and things you always forget you make an alias sudo group grub make configuration the output is boot grub group cfg so in here he made something and I can't see it as it's not mine. Permission denied. But it's um, it's of course readable if you open a folder as root. And we're here to learn, we're here to break the system. <laughs> Just joking. But here it is, right? Do not edit this file. But because of the commands we, we ran, oops, sorry guys. I thought every communication was off and it's not. Voila. So because of the update, this alias update grub thing, he went and looked for everything that he could find and he found also our themes. Themes Vimix, the colorful themes we have. And control find Linux LTS is now in here. Here he is. All the Linux LTSs are in here. Find, 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 find. All right. So an update grub, I should check, but I don't think it's um, part of downgrade. And it's only us. And if you do double, it doesn't matter. So update grub, don't forget. And now I have a Linux LTS system. I can boot from it. And um, hopefully this can help again with the NVIDIA issues that people are having. And other issues, of course, wireless, webcams, Bluetooth, it's always something. But there are kernels out there and they work. And don't update anymore if they work. All right. Have fun. Cheers.